everybody, it's Ken with Ken's Carver. Welcome to my basement in Colorado, hanging out with my pinball machines and my baseball cards. So a couple weeks ago, I picked up a huge collection of cards from the 90s and early 2000s. I stopped, as, I, as you may know, I stopped collecting around 1990 and started up again about 2012. So about 22 years where I really wasn't collecting cards, and so I don't know a lot about baseball cards from that era. Of, uh, there's a lot of cards that were like inserts. The hobby changed a little a lot during that time, and there's a lot of star players that I watched during that period, like Mark McGuire and Jose Canseco and Ken Griffey Jr., uh, Frank Thomas. Some of these players are now in the Hall of Fame. Barry Bonds, Roger Clemens, a lot of those guys. So. I, uh, you know, picked up this collection is mostly, I think there's like 40, 40 binders. I can't, I need to double count how many there are in a couple of 5,000 count boxes. But I'm thinking it's, you know, between 50 and 60,000 card collection. So we're going to take a look at this binder here. This is the first binder we're going to look at from that. It's kind of in crummy shape here. Got lots of dings up, but it was stored in a plastic tub. As I sh Show, I'll show you some video of me getting it out of my car. These three tubs, I don't know how I fit it all in my Mini Cooper, but I did. So, um, three 45 gallon tubs. This is binder number one we're gonna look at. And we'll see what we got in here. Okay, I'm opening the car with a huge load of totes. My car's weighted down as far as it can be. I got three totes in here. I think there's approximately between 50 and 60,000 cards, I bought a collection from this guy in Colorado and I'm gonna see what's got in here. Maybe we'll find out something good. Let's unload it from the car. Okay, so I got the bins right out of my car now after a little bit of effort because they weighed a ton. Can you imagine all that cardboard? So this bin here has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20 binders of cards. Um, I have no idea what's in them. I've only seen pictures of a few things, but there's a whole nother bin down here with more binders, about another 20 or so binders, I guess. And then this one, this bin here is mostly monster boxes full of commons and such. But I'll go through those two to see what's in there. I wonder how many cards are in this collection, but got a pretty good deal on it and thought it'd be fun to go through a period of time where I wasn't collecting and see what they got out of there and maybe I'll find a couple good things. Okay, so I opened up this next bin and there's 14 binders in here, different years of things. A lot of cards to go through. Right now I'm keeping them all in my garage because I don't want to take them down to my basement at the moment, but it'll be fun sorting through all this and I'll share a lot of this stuff with you guys on the YouTube. Okay, so here's the first binder from this collection I purchased a couple weeks ago from in, up in Howard, Colorado. So uh, I just want to see what we got. I think the collection was about 60,000 cards or so and um, all most of this stuff is in binders. There's a few 5,000 count boxes, but as you can see, this binder's kind of all bent out of shape, but they were stored in these plastic bins in a garage for a long time, so probably close to 20 years, maybe. Who knows? So this one had Mark McGuire in it, and as you can see, here's one of his rated rookies, but the cards were kept in uh, penny sleeves and then put into a binder. So this car's pretty decent condition, I guess, but not great. I mean, it probably wasn't put in a penny sleeve right away, but anyways, put this back in here. This is mostly all, looks like it's all Mark McGuire in this binder. Let's see what else we got here. Some Topps Finest, Topps Chrome Power. I don't even know what most of these cards are. I've never seen these cards because I didn't collect these cards. Uh, I stopped collecting in around 1990, and there's some Topps Chrome Finest, or Topps Finest here, inserts. Mark McGuire Counterparts, Mark McGuire Topps Finest. 
Home Run Kings. Those are pretty cool. These sweet st strike zone or something. Pretty cool looking shiny cards. Home Run King, Hank Aaron, Mark McGuire. Some League Leaders. These are some Chrome. There's an Ultra, I recognize that one, Twitter Ultra. Here we go, some 1990s, got some Pinnacle, 91, got some Upper Deck, I think that's 93, no, 96. Uh, look at this one here, this Die Cut one, Pacific. Clear Brilliance, we got a blue parallel and a regular, regular ones, I don't know if these are numbered. And well, it looks like at one time they had some prices on them. You got like $25, $8 on these at one time. I'm sure they're not worth that much anymore, but I'm sure somebody's interested in Maguire cards. I know a couple people who collect Maguire. Maybe they need some of these cards. Does anyone need any Mark Maguire cards? Well, here we go. We got some Will the Thrill, the Bash Brothers, uh, Cardinals. Ooh, look at this. Holographics. This is a pretty cool card. Never seen these before. <clears throat> What else we got in here? Some metal, heavy metal, metal universe, Bowman, triple play, ooh, triple play. Those are some cheap cards. Mark McGuire, that's card, Don was 88, someone had $25, maybe the whole page. Huh. Some more McGuire, hit list, Bowman Chrome. You know, if anybody's interested in these cards, hit me up, let me know. Oh, here we go. We got some Sammy Sosa. There's some Mark McGuire. Some Sosa on the White Sox, Cubs. Still some McGuire. Here we go. Titans of the game. Tops Chrome. Power players. Oh, there's a Chrome Tops 50, like 1990 version. Tops finest. More power players. Top's Finest, Fleer Platinum, or Fleer, Brill Fleer Brilliance. Some of the base tops, and ooh, Triple Play again. This is a kind of cool card. Look at a little dot, major, dot art, Sammy Sosa. Aficionado by Pinnacle. What else we got here? Bio Rhythm, Hyper, I Ionics, more Ionics. Sammy Sosa. Any Cubs fans out there calling all Cubs fans? Sammy Sosa from the 90s, early 2000s. I don't even know what some of these years are. So this one looks like it's a 96. This one looks like it's, can't tell. It's too small of text. Maybe some of you guys can tell me what this stuff is. Ooh, Ovation. I love the Ovation. Got the stitches on the edges here. This is a cool one. Home Run Heroes, like on a little TV screen there. That's pretty cool. Got some Upper Deck. This has got a different parallel there. I don't know if any of these are numbered. I miss, I miss Upper Deck. They were awesome. Wish they could get a license back again. Here we go. Sammy Sosa, Pacific. Sammy Sosa, just more Pacific. And... Polishing it off with some Don Russ. What else we got here? Fleer, Bowman, Don Russ, Bowman. There you have it. That's the first binder I looked at. Looks like the cards are somewhat rough condition in some cases, but other cases they're pretty decent. So they're all protected in, like I said, these within a. Looks like they, they, that person. This one's not protected, but some of them are protected, like this one here is in a penny sleeve. This Pacific 2000. Let's just look at the card here. The car corners are a little bit dinged up. Look at that mug. Cubs, Sammy Sosa. 2000, this is the year 2000. Pacific 2000. Very cool. Haven't seen a lot of these cards, so let me know if you're interested in Sammy Sosa or Mark McGuire. Thanks for watching. And I got like 40 more binders to go through. So this is episode number one.